So here we go with one of those working man crappie trips. The weather's just uh, not always what we want it to be. And uh, for us crappie addicts, hey, we got to get out there to get it. It's one of those old rainy, windy, cold, nasty days. And uh, I'm out here chasing these crappie. On this spot here, up until this point, the crappie were doing good. But you know what shows up. It's my experience that when you catch an old cat like this at a spot, the, the crappie are just done. Uh, I, I've spent hours on a, on a good pile that the crappie were just uh, back to back and uh, end up catching an old cat. And it just, the same way goes, uh, same thing goes for those old bass. You catch a big old bass, those crappie are not going to uh, hang around that pile uh, when those big old fish show up. This isn't the biggest catfish, but just from experience I've seen that these fish drive the crappie away. On those old nasty days like this, if you can deal with the cold and the rain, uh, the wind, I'm not saying gale force wind, but if the wind is blowing, you can find a sheltered bank. And uh, if you got some structure along that bank, you can, you can find some very good fish that are willing to eat. They usually feed very well in nasty conditions. I don't know why, but I did well on crappie in uh, some nasty, nasty weather. And it's looking like these old catfish are trying to feed well too. On this trip, I really wasn't going to uh, use this footage, but you'll see here after a while, this great big old thing shows up. And I was like, you know what, I gotta share this. This is a, a great catch on crappie gear. And guys, it's like I've been saying, uh, those of you that use that line clip, uh, it's the little clip that's on your spool of a spinning wheel. And a lot of people use that when they're fishing to be able to use their reel and reel the crappie in and then get back to that same depth. Uh, over the years, I've caught huge bass, catfish, gas bagoo, you name it. And those things will pull drag. It ain't easy being cheesy. If you got that line clip, that string hooked on that line clip, it bypasses your drag. And I'm hoping I'm explaining that well enough because there were several questions on uh, the, the first unexpected catch video about what line clip was I talking about. There's a little clip that's on the spool of a spinning reel and uh, there's a lot of people that use that to put their string on to save their depth so that they can use their reel. This is the reason why I don't use it. You'll see coming up here, this thing 
burns the drag off this reel like you wouldn't believe. Forgot my chest, my chest harness for my camera, and just over the years, me not having that, that camera right there, the audio is not all that great, and I sort of don't care to record when I don't have that chest harness. But I ended up catching some very good crappie, and then on top of that, this old monster shows up. Enjoy the watch, you guys. And once the crappie slow down or stop, you'll see this little jig that I'm using. I usually always downsize on top of changing the depth, changing actions, changing colors. There's something else you can do that will help you activate those crappie, get them back biting again. I, I like using big old baits, but at times it, it requires you to use micro baits to entice these fish to bite. Gonna be a bigger. <laughs> That's gonna be a big one right there, y'all. Look like you're trying to head back to the old pile, I guess. I hope not. Probably a big old flathead. A 
wood in the bed. Hopefully I can keep him away from that pile. Let me see you, buddy. Definitely a catfish. Well, I think it's a catfish. I can feel his fins breaking against that line. Jerker won't come up. Blowing bubbles. He about done. He blowing bubbles. He blowing bubbles, y'all. <laughs> Big old blue. <laughs> that thing probably 40 pounds. I'm willing to bet he 40 pounds. Dang it, y'all. Oh, a little. That jig ain't up inch long. That jig is not an inch long. Why didn't I? I wish I would have brought my dirty gone uh, chest mount. So y'all can see. I'm hoping y'all can see that fight. It's a big old fish, y'all. That's a big fish right there. Ooh, Thought he was done. He was blowing bubbles. I think this is uh, on a jig. I've caught a 30 pound flat. This thing is probably 40, 50 pounds or whatever it is. That's a big old joker. I was just telling Blue Kill this morning, I ain't never caught a blue. Out here. Well, there he is. Oh. You gave up. He bought and gave up, y'all. He almost done. Yeah, I think he's done. He done? Shoot, I doubt if uh, I know he ain't gonna fit in my neck. And them little, I got some grippers, I think, uh, I don't know if they're going to hold it. I don't know if these, I don't know if these little things, they're going to, it's going to put them to the test for sure. I die if it hold them. I just want to get you on video, then you go on back. And he seriously ate that little old bitty jig. That's the crazy point. Y'all, that's a great big old fish. I don't see this 
this is going to work. And then again, maybe. <laughs> oh, dang it. Look at that thing. <laughs> You got to be kidding me! God, <laughs> oh, dang it! Ugh. All right, buddy. Let me get my jig back. Dang it! Oh, we y'all. Oh. oh, this thing hurt my back. Oh, that's hurting my back right now. Let this big boy go. Oh, we. You got to be kidding me. Look at that little old bitty jig. That thing barely bigger than my nail. What the heck? Y'all see a big old hole in my in my door up there? Yeah, I did that today. My knee went straight through it. I should have threw that old proper eater up on the bank. Unbelievable. Thanks to all of you that have subscribed. A big old thumbs up would be appreciated. Those of you that have not subscribed, please do so. You can do that by clicking on my mug right here in the corner.